football in the blink of an eye or, or a try before, before half times, uh, you know, unsettles you a bit. And that's what happened. They, they conceded a try just on the, on the bell before half time. They come out, made a mistake in, the, in the, probably the second set in the second half, come up with an error that cost them a try again. And then the game's gone. And, you know, and, and confidence at this level, especially 19s, is a big thing. You don't, you don't get, you know, you don't get over things like that very easily, like you would have to up, up in the open age. So, um, you know, um, I, you know, I think there'll be a big response today from the from the uh, Cumbria side. I don't think the pressure will be so much on them. That I've just talked to one of the coaches now, and there's no pressure on the Cumbria side. They can go out in front of a home crowd. It'll be a hostile crowd here at Millham, you know, in terms of support for Cumbria. So that'll probably inspire them. And I think Yorkshire look at them. They're a very big and physical side, and and the Cumbria are a bit lish, and, and and they'll play a little bit of football. Let's take you through both of these sides. Starting first of all with the. In fact, we're going to be pausing for a minute silence from the look of it. So I'll bring you the sides after that. run through the sides. Starting first of all with Cumbria, it's Ethan Bickerdike at fullback. It's a back line that consists of Elliot Bibby, Zach Steele, Evan Jones and Keenan Fleming. Halfbacks are James Ennis and Jack Kelly. In the front row it's Connor Terrell, uh, Shane Sanderson and Adam Turnbull. Back row is Jack Stevenson, Charlie Emsley and a certain Jack Perry. Yeah, my son Jack, yeah, he's, he was away last week, but he's been drafted in this week. He's actually captain of the uh, Fairness Fern, uh, Academy team as well, so he's not that big in stature, but he's got a big heart, so we'll just see how he goes against the big Yorkshire pack. Uh, the bench is Will Ennis, uh, Jacob Johnson, Aston Mossop and Carl Garner. For Yorkshire, it's Brad Lowell in at fullback, a back line of Ryan Hilton, Billy Abelard, uh, Robbie Newton and Brad Baines. A half-back situation of Aaron Brooks and Harrison Sutcliffe. Front row is Bailey Woods, John Distin and Niall Green. Back row of George Hurst, Callum Burden and Kia Purdy. And a bench that has Joel Russell, Kai Fowler, Ewan Bowie and Ethan Myers on it. And, uh, these opening stages, they're going to be crucial. Yeah, definitely. Whoever gets the ascendancy in the first few minutes of the game will probably push on and put some points on the board. So, you know, it's a, it's a bit drizzly and a bit slippy. So, ball control's massive for both sides, completing sets and, and probably field position's massive as well, sitting in the, in the opposition's half and completing your sets with a good kick and try to get a repeat set. So, to get us underway, Cumbria kick off. It's a lengthy start. Yorkshire come underneath that one. It's Aaron Brooks who takes the first impact. Tackled on that 20 metre line. Play the ball comes in at this game, switches it left. Run comes in there from Bailey Woods from South Yorkshire and Valley. Just over the 20 metre line. Trying to control that run. Doing so pretty well there as well. Niall Green takes the next carry from Kings Cross Park in Halifax. He's up to the 30 metre line and I'll take it down this right hand side with Purdy. Well up at the shoulder, up to the 40 metre line. 20 metres in front touch, he'll play it. Ball switch left. And then carried through the middle by Niall Green. Good strong carry that. Yeah, he looks a good kid this Niall Green. Very strong, good body position on the carry. Good bump. But there's the first mistake from, from the Yorkshire side. I thought Cumbria there defended that really well. A little bit messy around the ropes. So they're lucky not to concede a penalty, but they had big numbers in every every set. So there's a bit of passion there and a bit of desire to want to defend. I like the work that Evan Jones did then in the last tackle, putting the pressure on Aaron Brooks. Yeah, he's a very smart player, Evan Jones. Played for Great Britain and uh, he's got great hands under a high ball. Yeah. Yeah. Should have been a penalty there for elbow to the head from the Yorkshire player. Takes a bit of after as well, doesn't he? And... Really strong. 
strong start from Yorkshire moving up quickly yeah both sides making a few mistakes and I think uh, uh, Cumbria want to shift the ball a little bit early should play out a dummy half on early plays just to get the feel there's a few afters going in there there's no nobody from the touch judge this could blow up if it's not if you're not careful because it's getting very feisty well there was a little push there in the back play between uh, uh, it was Capurdi and one of the Cumbrians Solid search through that middle once again by Green. He's the skipper of Yorkshire this afternoon. Diskin will turn it left. It's being played on that left hand side. Tackling comes in. Pretty solid. Good yards made though to that 30 metre line from Yorkshire. Yeah, they're pushing hard, Yorkshire. They've got some field position now. We've got to be careful coming that they don't come up with an error or a penalty that gives them a set inside their 20 and uh, it could be key to both sides getting that field position because of the weather and the conditions. It's going to be difficult probably later on in the game to get any control on the ball on carries. Oh, that was an interesting dab through then from Harrison Sutcliffe from Shawcross. Well fielded by Ethan Bickerdyke. Uh, was impressed with Bickerdyke last week, actually. Yeah, Ethan can play in a number of positions. He, he, he can play um, centre, he can play as a pivot as good as anyone. Very confident player, good skills on him. Uh, you know, real good, honest kid as well. No penalties in him. You know, and that's a, a, a relieving penalty for, for Cumbria, you know, from an error from Yorkshire. I'm always surprised when anybody kicks the touch on this ground, especially over on that side of the main road. Yeah, it just goes out and then it's, it's a little wild to get the ball back in, so you get a little bit of a breather if you know the ground and, and you want some, some time for your team, knock it out on the, on, on the Devonshire Road side. So, Cumbria, they'll go on the attack from this set. Tap to be taken here by Shane Sanderson of Barrow Island. He beats it on his Emsley. Well held in the middle of the field. After a quick play of the ball is the Scotland International, which is Terrell. That's him been towards the end of last week's game. I'm sure you won't want to remind any other one to have a much better start. Here's Emsley again. Big strong carry. Up beyond halfway. Sanderson once again controlling things at Dummy Half. Better set this one. There's Turnbull. It was really impressive last week was the ending of Junior. Gets the ball away too. Good work through that middle. And a quick play of the ball as well. Throws it down this left hand side. Ennis keeps it moving. Tackle comes in on Stevenson. Moves down this left hand side. Cut back to the right by Ennis. Little dab forward. Interesting kick. Maybe just a little bit too much on it though, unfortunately. Yeah, it's probably a poor kick really. Should have been on the floor and, and, and looking at a post pad to get a, a ricochet. So uh, the repeat set should have been left in goal. But a good promising set from Cumbria. Good ball movement. I reckon they put a little chunk player cut out the middle. They should have gone to the, the third middle or out the back because Yorkshire are so st stacked up defensively. There's some big spaces on this left edge. If Cumbria are prepared to take their chance of arm and just go out the back a little bit, you know, uh, they'll come up with another area Lancashire carrying the ball out from Jack Great tackled by Jack Stevenson. Yeah, it was a really good challenge. Billy Aviard coming up with the uh, the error there. Thought initially he was looking pretty strong on the carry, wasn't he? But then it just sort of tumbled out from his grasp. Yeah, and as the game goes on with these conditions, it's going to get slippier and, and the lads get fatigued. So you come up with some errors, with some errors from both sides early. So whoever whoever cuts them out and just prepared to grind the sets out and put some nice kicks in and get some repeat sets will come up with some uh, some tries. But this is the first set really that Cumbria have started inside the 20. Down the right hand side, it's moved to Emsley. He's on the edge of the 20 metre line. He'll play this to Sanderson, who opens it out to Terrell. Terrell through hands, brings in Keller. Keller keeps it moving. That's excellent running. Good running from Crary. He's 12 metres from that line over on this left hand side of the field, 20 metres in from touch. They'll continue down this channel through Evan Jones. Three in the challenge from Yorkshire. They force him backwards, only just. And they'll play it just inside that 10 metre mark. Ball switched to the middle. Ennis keeps it moving. Bickerdyke throws a dummy. Oh, he's through. He's Bickerdyke. What an opening score. That is brilliant footwork from Bickerdyke. And he left him for dead. And that's his uh, standoff there. He probably wasn't playing like a full back there on the sweep. He was playing as, as, a, as a ball runner with ball in hand. Uh, probably pretty narrow. The thing is, with Yorkshire there, they had the four man was on inside the near post. So there's a lot of space between three and four man. And uh, Ethan exploited that and, and waltzed him for a try. And that's that's a danger to Ethan. He can, like I say, he can play a standoff centre uh, or fullback and uh, is, is a massive running threat there. But a good, good play from Cumbria, worked hard, some good shape through the middle, got them some field position and then, then executed on the next play to get the try. And uh, this conversion is pretty simple, bang in front and uh, a nice simple slot for the, for, for the seven. 
thought it was a real classic play that from Vicar Dyke actually yeah I think, I think across the board the set up play was real good they looked comfortable didn't they they had the shape they had plenty of depth but the big problem for me was the, the Yorkshire uh, four man he was on the first stick and he should be sat on the, on the second stick and pulling his middle out they've been short through the middle uh, a little bit Yorkshire off their own goal line which will, will, co will cost them really in, if uh, if Yorkshire get the, the splits right so where you're saying that that's sort of the positioning really isn't it of, of the defensive line and being pulled out a little bit yeah it's probably speed of the rooks as well that gets you you can't get your spaces right if the quick rooks and I think uh, it was Jack that got a quick rook on the play on the set up play which allowed Ethan to run but we, like I say Cumbria had no sweep so it was a flat line attack wise you had to deal with but because the spaces were pretty wide they couldn't deal with the run so Yorkshire get us back on the way again it's going to be controlled off the feet of Emsley. Picks it up, runs it in, takes on two. Just outside his own 20. Seems to be holding on there. Oh, and then it's juggled and put down by Terrell. Yeah, that's, a, that's a, another set. Sometimes when you score a try and you've committed an error, you, you, know, you, you relax a little bit and you come up with an error, but it, it's... Uh, it's a little bit feisty at the moment. There's a few people getting involved with the, with the thing. And it's been blowing up. There's a lot of infringements of the rook and pushing and shoving like you, you alluded to a couple of seconds ago there. That the, the rooks need to be cleaner at this level and uh, it should be about playing football rather than what we're seeing at the moment. Well, I mean, you, you picked it up in the very first set, didn't you? You said that the arch were lucky not to have conceded a penalty. Yeah, we've seen it from both sides, really. Elbows in, round the face and, and stuff. And sometimes you get that at 90s football, really, when when the game should be fast and furious and, and, and that's up to the officials to dive in and you know we're probably 15 minutes in now and uh, he's bringing the sides together for a talk where you know in the first few minutes or before the, even the game starts you know the, the standards should be set by the referees to say look this is what we want you come here to play you're young fit sides and you come here to play football not to stop and start and, and, and give it all this and give a scrum at the back end of all that as well a uh, bit of early testosterone flying about you could say yeah and you've got to deal with that as officials haven't you you know the, the players will only do that if you let them deal with it and you know if you tell them early on you're really strong we've seen an instant two metres off the off the touchline with his elbow to the throat and head of a, of a player and, and the officials just looking at it and not going on fingers crossed things improve on that score here come Yorkshire going down this right hand side that's Bradley Welling from Thornhill to the edge of the 20 finds an offload as well for Hilton Hilton gets off, cuts in field, eventually wrestled down by three. Seems to be a lot of Cumbrian defenders out on this right hand side, not so many out down the left. And that's where Yorkshire pushed that ball. Big strong carry coming in there from Bailey Woods. Two metres out from the try line. Will there be an instant response here for Yorkshire? Well, they'll win a penalty. Hands on in that rook. Yeah, and I think I think that you know it's probably the right thing to do, give a penalty there because they're a little bit stretched. But the thing is, what Cumbria are doing well is they're getting the spaces right on an edge and, and they're pulling the middle out to fill the middle spaces, so they'll probably defend a little bit better. Look at Foreman now; he's, he's on that second post. Diskin takes it down the right hand side, chance here, and it's a score for Yorkshire. Callum Burden from Shawcross ending up slipping his way through, and once again we've got after us. Yeah, and it's blowing up, you know, every set, and this needs to be sorted out because we don't want to watch that, and nobody does. Uh, you know, it's a great try from, from uh, Yorkshire. I thought it was a great line on, on this edge, on the short edge, and uh, you know, and, there's, and it's blowing up a little bit. And uh, I think the, the, the referee and the linesman have gone in now and, and uh, they're having a good word. But that needs to settle down. We just want a game, even if it's tit for tat. Uh, you know, in scoring, it's better than watching that. But you know, some good football played by both sides and in, in, in not ideal con conditions. Uh, so yeah, that try being scored by Callum Burden. We've actually been going for 10 minutes now in this one. And a chance here for things to be made all level through the kicking of Brad Bates. Yeah, that all come up from an error from the kickoff, didn't it? After after uh, Cumbria had scored, and I think it was Connor that dropped the ball clean, dropped it on, on the yard. It's just about concentrating when you've scored a try and, and knocking your next set out and kicking. Uh, you know, and get some field position again, and, and start and call it grind. And you've got to grind to win these these games at uh, this level. It happens so often, that doesn't it, Paul? You imagine it would be the first thing that I turn the coach grey. Yeah, definitely, because you've done the hard work, you've scored, everyone's in position, and you're coming out, and you've just got to concentrate, and everybody's got to do the job and get to a kick. And even if you've got to get out the back end of the set, you know, you've just completed that set on, on, on the back of you scoring. It's no good scoring a try and then conceding one, you know, on the next two sets on the back of it. 
Baines misses the conversion. It's six points to four here in favour of Cumbria. But Cumbria back to the halfway line to try and get this ball as far downfield as possible and restrict this Yorkshire side coming forward. Yeah, I think it's a bit windier as well. I think now they're playing with the wind behind them coming here so they can kick early and kick deep. That's hard. It's hanging. It. And that's what we just talked about there, you know, he's got to try and, and you relax and it's a simple catch, elbows in, turn away as you catch the ball and it's a clean knock on from Yorkshire that gives uh, Cumbria the ascendancy again, so we're just going tit for tat at the moment. Now Cumbria were what can come with over the next 45 seconds or so in possession. Yeah, they've just got to go hard early though with the ball, they're on a 4-2 split here defensively, Yorkshire they just pull one over. Uh, so they're, they're numbered up all right at the moment, so they've, they've got the job done there. Elliot Bibby feeds the scrum, it comes out the back. Oh, that looks a little high on Ennis, but nothing said. He'll play 25 metres out from the line. He's taking on the right-hand side once again through Emsley. Big handoff, he's still going. Great drive. He's a good, strong runner, Charlie, and very strong. He's, you know, he's, he's a real tough kid as well. Taking it down that blind side through Zach Steele from Ascombe. Just round the bay from here. You've got Connor going to the ball here, so um, the middle's got the ball, so you've lost your middle a little bit. Connor Terrell's gone to the ball and Charlie's playing outside him, so it might be a little bit of a... Uh, just, he's going to have to play real narrow like they're playing now because there's no pivot. The pivot's out the back of the middle. That's once a couple of times there in defence. Now there's a bit of space out wide. Kick comes in. Oh, I tell you what, he had an attack of the fumbles again, did have you? But he got all the way this time. It was a great kick, that wasn't it? Right to the post, what we talked about before. And now it's up to Yorkshire to get out, but very, very physical and strong defensively. They just haven't got to give any penalties away at Cumbria at the moment. Really good hit that from Turnbull. Equally strong defence, three in the challenge, controlling that rook. Yorkshire just 12 metres away from their own line. Ron comes in from that man, Niall Green. Popped up in some good positions on both sides of the ball. Yeah, he's so good far. player, Green. I was really impressed with him. Some good, strong ball carriers. Yorkshire's a big pack. They play a little bit one out off the rucks, but it's effective on yardage. And then the pivots pop up and, and play when they're getting good ball. But the kick, kicking, great defensive set from Cumbria, limiting him to 30 metres. And Elliot Bibby straight back on the charge. And this kid can can run. He's very, very quick, Elliot. He's going to try it last week against Lancashire. Elliot Bibby created one as well. Walney Central Junior. There he is, Bicker Dyke. Tries to get between defenders. Feels a bit of a flop tackle getting his way yeah, from first. A little bit of elbow to the head that wasn't wasn't picked up on there. A little bit of another high shot there. Crady plays it. Ball out to the right hand side. Bringing players back to the middle. I see that quite a lot, that little drop off play. Is that just keeping the middle honest? Yeah, just got to keep the middle honest. You call it shortening the line. You just try and shorten the line. But there's a couple of times where the pivots can step up. They're going to go on, like, uh, on that play there. The wingers drop back real early and the centres are real narrow. So if they've gone out the back and played on this edge there, they had a three on one situation, but they opted for the kick option. I suppose, uh, given the situation in this game, it's about how. Yorkshire fancy bringing it away from their own line, isn't it? Play yeah, and I think this is the third set they've got to do that. So Cumbria are doing something right. They're limited them. They just haven't got to give any penalties away. They're clean. They're getting numbers in the tackle, two and three in the tackle. They just haven't got to get a little bit tighter at marker. But the, you know, but again, strong, strong carries from the Yorkshire pack bringing the ball. I'm very impressed with the Yorkshire pack on on the carries under pressure. Good run for Burden there on that occasion. He's over the 30 metre line. Picked right dummy up by Diskin. He then feeds it onto Bailey Woods. As the wind picks up around our commentary position. Hopefully it's not detracting too much from your enjoyment of this game, which sees Cumbria leading by six points to four. Lots of good pressure being applied again by Evan Jones. And Cumbria have the ball once more, 40 metres from their own line. Yeah, another good set from Cumbria defensively, limited uh, Yorkshire to 40 metres, which is real good at, at any level, really. And uh, and they're starting the set just on the halfway line, just inside the halfway line. So they've got a chance of, of, of an, uh, an attacking play, but they'll just carry... Out, one out from the rooks and, and look for that chance but there's a big big chance on these edges here because they're, playing, they're giving up 15 metres these Yorkshire edges uh, you know, so there is a chance to get out the back and play with sweep runners and, and, and try and play this Yorkshire side on edge but here's Connor very very strong carry excellent run from Connor Terrell gets to the edge of the 20 metre line loses the ball 
What's the hands in there? Should he have been a bit more secure? I think, that, I think we've seen that, haven't we? The whole game where the interference of the rook, it hasn't been placed so... 16 minutes. You know, it's like anything. If, if you can get away with it, you, you do it at any level. And so they're not picking up on the infringements around the rook. The hands are in, there's bodies on the floor. And, and, and probably, I think, uh, you know, it's a bit harsh on Connor that because I think it should go with the attacking side and, and not the defensive side because they were all over the place. One mark not set, one on the floor, hands in the rook, come up with a, with, with a knock on. You've got to think, why would a, the ball go pop up in the air with, a, with the front row that's standing up to play the ball? So common sense there, and I think, uh, you know, I just think it, it should have gone the other way. There's a bit of claret there on Charlie. Charlie's bleeding around the mouth, and there's a few few little injuries, you know, picking up on the play. It's a very, very physical game, but a good standard game. I suppose 16, 17 minutes gone. Is it uh, everything you've anticipated and more in this one so far, Paul? Yeah, I think it's been pretty good. I just think uh, both sides have come up with errors. Sometimes the markers are uh, very tight, so there's a chance to get out of dummy half and really need to be over an arm's length and tying with your ears and make you a little bit more solid defensively. And, but both sides are really aggressive, so you just get a little bit tight round the, round the markers, but that might cost you. Somebody might nip out of dummy half and burn you for a few metres if you're tight there. Here come Yorkshire clearing set for them. Still inside their own 40 metre line and some good defence being put in from Zach Steele in particular. Towers over the player. Run taken in by George Hurst from Jewsbury Moore. Over his own 40 metre line he drives. Diskin in at doing half his club teammate. Plays for a penalty, it's not forthcoming. Slits the ball to his right hand side to Woods. Woods over the halfway line. It's very direct this from Yorkshire so far. Yeah, and that's what you expect from the Yorkshire side, but they're very, very good at it, aren't they? Look at the metres. I think they just had one out carries and marched themselves nearly 40 metres and got themselves in a, a good position to kick the ball and you can't ask for any more than that. No errors. A little bit flat there from the pivot and got his under pressure, but a bad, bad penalty oh, from, from Cumbria there. To, last uh, tackle one as well. And I think it was late, wasn't it? The, the pivot caught the ball, uh, stepped inside, tried to get the kick away, pushed the ball, then the penalty was given then. So it was a little bit late. If you're going to give a penalty for offside, blow up straight away. Kick dabbed into touch. Yorkshire to start this set 15 metres away from the try line. Last time they were down here, they did score. Let's see what the defence is like. And that's a big thing because that physical, the, the Yorkshire side, they're very difficult to hold off when, when they're attacking our line. Tap taken. Here comes Woods. Twists and spins in the tackle. Two metres out from the try line. Picked up by Diskin. He feeds it right. Little dummy thrown there by Purdy. Purdy goes close. Good defence. Nice to stop him. Can they hold out though? Again, Pepper in the middle. Strong carry. I think he's got there as well as Niall Green. And he has to the right, to the left hand side of the post, sorry. Yeah, he searched and over. And simple stuff from Yorkshire, really, wasn't it? It was three one out carries. And, uh, you know, uh, Yor uh, Cumbria just sat down on the goal line. They've got to get off on, on the player. They're deep enough to get off your goal line and deal with it. They're a little bit deep, Yorkshire, but they didn't deal with that. Three crash players and, and smashed over by the post. So Cumbria will be disappointed with that. Last, last play penalty. And then. Uh, Three players, single carries, and a try. So, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna give penalties away and last players, you've got to defend your goal line. They didn't do that. So Brooks with this conversion attempt, it has edged Yorkshire in front in this one by eight points to six. You're watching the under 19 three counties championship game here from Millham. Uh, great hosts. Always good to come to this place. What's going on? Wrong team first, but it's right. <laughs> So Brooks, this conversion attempt just to the left-hand side of the post. It's again a patch-up job being done on Charlie Emsley, who's battling his way through at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, it's the second time he's been down, Charlie. He's ble bleeding round the, round the mouth area. I think it's just uh, an ankle problem. Jugger, Colson, I think, uh, I think our shoulder injury. I don't know whether he's going to drag him off. He'll be, a, he'll be a big miss, Charlie, if he, if he goes. He's just sending another physio on there, very strong on that right edge Charlie as a, as a back rower defensively and offensively but he looks in a little bit of trouble now Charlie on the floor over halfway through the first half now and it's Yorkshire who will sway by 10 points to 6 thanks to that uh, last try which was converted by Brooks 
Yeah, I think Niall Green's having a great game for, for Yorkshire. Very strong through the middle, leading the, his side really well as as captain. And uh, you know he's put some good meters in. He's got some good leg speed, but he's uh, tenacious in his tackling as well. He's pretty athletic looking as well, isn't he? Yeah, I think so some of these bigger, bigger yeah. Yorkshire forwards. Yeah. There's bigger guys than him, but he's doing a tremendous job. Yeah, he just carries the ball really, really well. Here he is again through that middle, taking on Perry, taking on Turnbull. Third man peels off, which was Shane Sanderson. Yorkshire down the right hand side, we have the ad. He'll play over the third meter, quick play the ball, that one, Diskin. Slipping the ball to Green. Head recoiled, and he was going to get battered there. Carried on making the ad. Emsley's called for a change, but comes up with the hit there. I think Charlie's really struggling there, isn't he? He's, asked for, he's asking for help off the sidelines and looks in a bit of a bit of trouble. That's the first carry from Ethan Myers. Forward come Yorkshire again. He's still calling out to be changed. Trying to stay there a bit longer as the kick comes in. Put under lots of pressure. I thought that was a knock-on, to be honest. I thought it was offside as well. He was in front of the kicker. It was a knock-on and then he gave offside. So it's a bit air and scare him. I thought some great carries from, from Yorkshire coming out there, but, but a real poor end to the set. Whether it's the wind or, or the pivots aren't deep enough, they're just not getting the kicks away. Let's see if Cumbria can get downtown again. Taking possession at the beginning of this set, 40 metres away from their own line. Ball swept to the right. Ball comes in there, Zach Prairie, just inside his own half. He'll play this ball. Now Sanderson, slipping the ball back to Terrell. Cuts through the middle, gains five metres beyond contact. Now they're inside opposition territory. This is Austin Mossop coming on, who's a very, very strong ball carrier, big, strong lad. He was on the Mid Wigan Academy, but he, you know, he didn't want to do the travelling and didn't want to live down there. But ended up going back to the amateur game, and again, a little bit of afters, and we don't need any of that from anybody celebrating you know, mistakes. And, and it's something you've got to get out of, of the game at this level. You know, there's, like you say, a lot of testosterone flying about, a little bit of afters on the floor, pulling and pushing. And, and once you get that out of, out of the game, you get a good contest from both these sides, are very good technically and can play. Let's see. What could be can put within this set? They've got some really decent field position. Sanderson taps, hurls it into the hands of Stevenson. He gets inside the 20, wins another penalty. High shot. Yeah, again, another infringement, but again, after's on the floor. But a good, a good strong run by Jack Stevenson. Very, very strong ball carrier, Jack. Just got right up. He's actually made himself available again, but the ball bypasses him, goes off down the right hand side. This is Kellett. Slipping back to the middle. A little bit flat there, but he's, he's, he got pushed out on the outside and he made him come back on the inside into the middle, whereas if he's deep enough, he can still get to the outside and still flat find his sweep running. Good search from Terrell to the 10 metre line. Brought down this left hand side. Oh, he's juggled just for a second by Ennis, who cuts back down the right. It opens up for him temporarily. Then it's quickly closed. Five metres out from the try line here, Cumbria asking the questions. Dart from dummy half, that's Anderson. Just short of the line. A real short on this, on this lift, left edge. We've gone to the wrong side. Again, the pivot gets pushed on the inside. Gets shut down. Somebody needs to call for it down this side. Evan Jones has the arm up. Only come this way now. Kick to come in from Vicar Dyke. Oh, he's put it on a six-pence there. Well taken inside his own in goal area by Hilton. Yeah, I think I think they can, they can run the ball on last place, Cumbria. They're real short on this left, this right side. Yorkshire's right side, Cumbria's left side, and big space between three and, and four man and two and three man. So there's a chance to run the ball at the back end of the sets. And if you turn the ball over, you turn the ball over where they don't want it. So you can say you have the ball where you don't want it and bring it out. And, and they've really defended pretty tenaciously, Cumbria. So. You know, but there it's, a, it's an easy restart for for uh, Yorkshire, and they're up to the 20 metre mark on or 30 metre mark on one player. It's that sort of game. I like games like this, which are close, they're tight, they're physical. Yeah, and it's whoever cracks first, really, and, and uh, you know, and, and sometimes you get back-to-back -back scores that that takes a game away from a, a side. And like last week, when I think, like we talked about, Cumbria conceded just before half time, and, and the set, second set after half time, which which cost them momentum, and and then the game just went away from them, and it was a bit of a blowout, really. Where as today, if they can stay in the grind, any team can win this game, you know. But they've got to be prepared to play. They've got to see the spaces. Sometimes when it's when it's wet and windy and stuff, you can run the ball at the 
back end of the sets because somebody might come up with an error on yardage rather than giving a 20 metre restart and a seven tackle set. I'm pleased to see uh, Charlie Evans like jockeying up and down the touchline in front of us. Yeah, it looks like he's ready to go again. They're going to get him out real early, I think, or they're going to leave him out there. It looks like he's going to go back on, but um, you know, he's a tough kid, Charlie, so I didn't want to come off. Was, uh, you know, he must have been really hurting, but he was bleeding from his head and it, I think his shoulder, but again, Connor's off and Charlie, so the two big big players to be off, off the field, but I think both packs have been outstanding, really. They've worked hard and you know, there's a few errors and I think both sides, the kicking game hasn't been that great at the back end of sets. So 10 points to 6 in favour of Yorkshire. Could be giving as good as they're getting. Yeah, it's a home, it's a home fixture for them, and it's a, it's a big crowd here. I think there'll be a lot more coming in for the open age game, but there's a big crowd in front of us, and uh, you know, watching at this level, it just shows us a good interest. There'll be a few scouts out there as well, try to pick up players. I know Connor was being heavily looked at by uh, I say Ellen, Connor Terrell. So it just shows that people do, do watch this level of rugby league, doesn't it? Well, that's where the players come from. You know, they don't just come from St. Ellen's Wig and Barrow anywhere like that. They come from the amateur game. Game and you know there's a lot of players that, that have, have, have you know, done well for the amateur club and for the club and progressed to be good good rugby players you know so um, you know it's a it's a good it's a good advert for rugby league this game I think some good skill levels and some good defence from from both sides highlighted by that challenge going in from Shane Sanderson he's certainly been throwing himself about. He's an outstanding tackler, Shane, a very, very strong tackler. And, you know, and, and they're putting bodies in the three in that three in that tackle there. And you've got to make sure they win, win the rook and get to the feet before the, the Yorkshire team. But they're playing some good stuff, Yorkshire, some good shape and playing real short. But that's a, a knock-on there that's, that's been let go. So, again, the last tackle play. Yeah, they shuffled down the left-hand side. Kicked going in by Sutcliffe. Punched it into the corner. Didn't look too confident underneath that one, did he? No, yeah, but I think, it, is it, well, it being gre- I think with it being greasy, if you put the ball on the floor into space and have a big chase, you've got a chance of coming up with a try or an error. I think that was just too easy for him to pull out the air and, and turn. I know they've only made 10 metres in two plays, but it's pretty easy for the winger to pick up on that play. Steal with the last carry. This is Turnbull meeting the sandwich, upended and put down again. 10 metres or 15 metres out from the own line. Cumbria chancing the round a little bit and winning a penalty. Yeah, and it, you know, it's a relieving penalty, really. The ch- they, they wanted to play there, Cumbria. There's a little bit of space. Evan's got great hands, Evan Jones, and if he'd have caught the ball clean and, and he just tipped it on there, I think Elliot Bibby would be off down the sideline, but they jumped the gun a little bit on this right edge, uh, the Yorkshire side. I think there's a little bit of joy for Cumbria on this on this uh, right side of, of Yorkshire. They just haven't got the spacings and uh, uh, all the enthusiastic. We've got a winger here that's limping all over the place and number two, which is Ryan Hilton, who was very strong early on, but I think he's obviously carrying a leg injury. They've got to spot that and, and go at him. That's an outstanding carry out from Stevenson. It's over the top of his man, Murray Brooks, picked up out of dummy half by Johnson. Booster from Lowker, who I believe are, are providing a minibus down here today. That's what's great to see. Yeah, they have done, yeah, the support. But again, we've got a lot of afters at the Rook and the linesman this time has gone on real early, uh, you know, and I just think they have just got to clean this Rook area up. It's spoiling the game in terms of, of, of not allow the, the players to play the ball that, that gets the game slower and, and they're out the blocks real early. The defensive line is shutting the players down. We've got to clean the Rooks up, but this, this linesman on this side has been strong enough to go on and see it and there'll be a penalty here for, for Cumbria. Heard he tried to... Uh, really shadow him didn't he in that challenge yeah and both sides are, are guilty of it of, of really getting tight at the play the ball pushing and shoving and elbows in and not you know not only is it unclean it's pretty dangerous if you cop an elbow at the eye or, or get a finger in the eye something like that you just don't want to see it at this level you know just let them play rugby it's been real good apart from that area of, of the game that needs probably addressing surprisingly referee has a word going to be a penalty here for Cumbria Johnson to tap it 30 metres out from the line feeds it into the arms of Carl Garner from Kells did well after he juggled with it yeah there's always a difficult carry after an infringement or a bit of uh, you know a bit of afters and, but we've got a chance here with Evan Jones a great play down this left hand side Jones is still going inside the 10 he is and there's big spaces through the middle for, for Yorkshire and they're real short on that on the left side picks away got... dummy half chance there for Johnson just held short 
another chance where he's gone without it. I know it's a real poor play from Evan there. If you look at if you look at Yorkshire again, the four man was on the inside post that leaves massive space on that on their left side, the, the Cumbria's right side. So so just a little bit of patience, shorten the line, go back to the middle, then pull the trigger on the next play, and you get him. But everybody wants to to be a hero in in these games. Sometimes you end up playing for yourself instead of playing for the team. If you play for the team, you'll get the result. If you play for for yourself, you end up coming with, with bad errors. Thoughts there of Barrow coach Paul Crary, who actually coached the Open Age Cumbria set up, didn't he, a few years ago? Yeah, we coached him in the back to back championships. Um, I think it's for the first time in, in the history, and uh, it also coached the Cumbria professional side to a, to a draw against our national side. Uh, coached by the team at the 18 all for the Gary Purdom, uh, uh, I think it was a memorial game. So, yeah, we've got a, a bit of history in, the, in that. Again, after's in the, in, in the rook, and everybody's in, and again, there's no control over it's just a mess forward come Yorkshire everybody's temper is just about a fraying point yeah definitely it could blow up but I think they're, they're doing well to control it we just need the officials just to step up a little bit and, and just jump in and, and uh, lay the law down a little bit with these rooks there's Myers it's a Joseph's club in Huddersfield ball comes to the right hand side kicks coming from Brooks really skied that one and again, it's a poor kick, isn't it? Straight to the full back, real short. You know, find some space. There's plenty of space behind Ethan if you put it low and long. And, uh, you know, and what we'll see is Elliot running out of dummy half, and he's pretty quick there if he can get away. Well, he gets away from the first marker. Can escape the clutches of the second man, Burden, who came up with the shot. Johnson feeds it left. Good footwork. Excellent work there from Stevenson. Motors his way into the uh, into the Archer half. Yeah, he's had a great game, Jack, on this on this left edge. He's made some good inroads. They're playing up some slow. Oh, playing up some slots. So, and the, the linesman straight on that, and it, and he's given a forward pass when. I think Evan Jones nearly had his head taken off and there was no there's no reaction from this touch judge on this side whatsoever and that should have been, definitely been a penalty to uh, Cumbria and he's come up with a forward pass and uh, penalised Cumbria I have to, I'm really surprised at that call in all honesty <laughs> it dived out it, was, it, was, it happened directly in front of where we were commentating from as well yeah, no, I, I think the was a little bit closer than <laughs> us but you know I just think sometimes you just see a little bit different to what everybody else sees here come Yorkshire, riding their look, in front by 10 points to 6. Could they get in amongst them, it's a good tackle. Again, to go away of Yorkshire, Joel Russell hasn't allowed to go from dummy half. Yeah, I think he had a shirt there on the floor, he had, he had him by the shirt, but again, it's a, a rook infringement, and most of the penalties have been for, for that in this game, so something needs addressing, and... It, and uh, Touch hasn't been firing, but it's ended up being a knock on against Cumbria. Yeah, and they got away with that one, uh, Yorkshire, but they've come up with a scrum 40 metres out from the Cumbrian line, which will be difficult to contain this Yorkshire side when they play off the rooks and they, and they just go forward hard. A very big physical team, and they look real good. When, when they go forward oh you're enjoying this physical game of rugby league it's coming to you from the Barla Three Counties Championship the under 19s version we've got the open age game to follow after this one between these two sides here come Yorkshire straight forward drive through the middle from George Hurst very direct he be real good George hasn't he with his footwork and yeah. speed of play of the ball he's a big unit as well George Russell very difficult to put down shuffles it left footwork from Sutcliffe can't escape the clutch of the second man especially. Purdy's call for it in the middle. Ball hasn't reached him yet though. Myers with the carry. Inside the 10, he goes. Russell. Big play to his left side. Stacked it up with support inside and out. Oh, good movement. Good defence, however, from Keller cutting off the move. Ball goes loose there. That knock on. Yeah, it is. On. And they just pushed the cell down a real short edge and if they short them to Cumbrian line and that's around the post area they've got the big big boys and that can run some tight lines on the edges and, and you shorten the line if, if you jump down short edges all the time you know 20 metres off the opponent's goal line you just run out of space and you're playing on big splits like 8-2 or 9-1 or splits you know with, with your two marks and your full back being the other three players five minutes to half time Cumbria down in this one by four points 
taking the ball deep within their own quarter. Big drive comes in. Defense is pretty solid though from Yorkshire. Controlling the speed as well. They're bringing it through that middle again, trying to wrestle the way free. Quick play the ball. Johnson out to the right hand side. Oh, ball goes loose there. Yeah, and it's a loose carry from Austin Moss up and again 40 metres off his goal line. He needs to catch the ball, get control of it, run hard, put some footwork on, but again just a loose catch and, and carry and give Yorkshire field position. And probably this is the fourth set that Yorkshire have had inside the uh, Cumbrian half back to back. So, you know, a big test for Cumbria if they can see if they can hold out on, on this ne ne next set of six. No big in rolls from Hurst. And another good carry there from Kai Fowler from Skirler. 12 metres out from the line. Ball into the middle with Myers. Certainly keeping the middle defence honest. Yeah, there's a big space through the middle for Cumbria. If, they, if Yorkshire decide to play on that middle, they're going to do that. They might turn somebody in. Turn down this right hand side, though. There's a space through the middle from the full back. Well in. Gets the offload away. It's scrappy. It's called a knock on. I didn't think that was a knock on, I've got to be honest. No, I, don't think it, I don't think it was really, but I don't think they thought it was, so they'll give a penalty away for dissent. There's some strange calls coming up here, but again, both sides at the back end of sets, they, you know, lacking ideas of, of where to put the ball and how to exert more pressure. They try to score off that one set instead of building some pressure, and that's probably the fourth set that Yorkshire had in the, in the Cumbria's half, but they come up with a poor end of set play rather than a good one to get another repeat. It's keeping this game particularly interesting, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's very that. physical, and I thought Jack Stevenson on this left side had a, has a tremendous running game, you know, and, and both sides have defended real well and if it can cut out the errors I think the 10s are pretty short which which is, is putting pressure on the halves to turn the ball back on the inside because they're feeling the pressure from the defensive line but I think anybody that can find the fringes uh, has got a good chance here's maybe a chance now but again they turn it on the inside when they've got numbers and another another penalty there well Purdy didn't get penalised last time he came out with the big uh, high tackle but this time he has been penalised he likes to shoot out of the line that kid doesn't he and if you can if you can just get a little bit deeper on him and put a short pass in you probably get him because he's created a defensive triangle so you know if somebody's really aggressive you just get a little bit deeper and entice him on you might take a little whack but the hole he creates for you is, is a nice short ball so if whoever's going to play up against him just needs to get a short runner off him and, and then you know get a, a chance of putting somebody through a big hole here come Cumbria Emson's back on good carry towards that 20 metre line can the Cumbrians come up with a score before half time Johnson will pass long for Kellett he feeds it out the back for Ennis Ennis feeds it to Bickerdyke good movement and a good strong challenge there on Jones Johnson again slipping the ball to Bickerdyke this time the defence very stern through the middle yeah, and they slow the rooks down well Yorkshire so the rooks are slow so they can get the spaces right on the edges what they need is a, a quick ball Oops. So again, a false pass on, on an edge when there's no need. Second row, try and find another centre on, on an edge and just, just take the tackle and get to the back end of the set. Yorkshire back in possession. It's Purdy to play it. There's Aviad. Aviad just over his own 20. Rush to the floor. Yorkshire still up in this one by 10 points to 6. Strong carry there from Baines. This is a big two minutes for, for, for Cumbria to contain this Yorkshire side and probably get some field position and, and for Yorkshire to get out and put a good kick in and a good chase, even if they knock it out to burn the clock down. What they don't want to do is come up with an area, area that gives uh, Cumbria a set just before half time off their own goal line. Well, again, they're meant to the 50, so it all depends on, on this kick. Played it really well to get down that field. Mm. There's Bicker Dyke taking that comfortably enough. Raised the leg in defence as well. Actually wrestled to the deck. He's been pretty comfortable from at the back, and he hasn't done anything wrong. Yeah. Really. And he's, he's been solid in, in, in his carries, but again, you know, it's up to, to uh, come in, might want a chance to arm a little bit on the set because time's running out to, to probably get the foot in front, really. So as Paul said, just out from half time, 10 points to 6 in favour of the Yorkshire side. It's Cumbria on the ball, attacking. That was Will Ennis. Well, two brothers in the side from Kells as the kick comes in. A lengthy one. Bounces in behind Bradlewell in. 
That just drops dead in front of him in the end. He picks yeah, it up and runs it well. Pretty good. There's a strong wall in front of him, and uh, you know three players, which is a good sign, have, have, have made that tackle a minute before half time. So it just shows a lot of energy still in the Cumbria side and they're up for the fight. But, you know they've got real narrow Yorkshire as well. They're all crowding around the ball and just want to play one out and get to a kick just before half time. I think. I think out of the two sides, you know, I think uh, Yorkshire are looking for half time, and I think um, Cumbria are looking to get a score that will, will get them a bit closer. But again, a good strong win through the middle. It's a super run, super run. The support there as well. Is this going to be the try to break Cumbria half time? It goes the way of Pai Fowler supporting Ethan Myers, and that's the that's the thing that kills you. You know, right a minute before half time, the probably the hoot will go when when he kicks his goal. But it's an absolute killer. You're in the game. You've got good, good kick chase. We're sleeping around the rocks and a strong hard runner gets you. There was no fancy play, it was just straight off the nine, straight through the hole. The full back for Cumbria was Ethan was a little bit deep, so he couldn't get to the runner coming through the hole and he and he clean bursts through and, and, and finds a little pass and, and uh, team, which is Kit. Kai Fowler scored a, a great support try. So it's been a good game, probably littered with uh, be penalties really that needs to, to improve from both sides but there's nothing in this game but just a, a little killer punch before half time from, from the Yorkshire team well, that, that be your main message to both of these sides just cut down the most penalties whoever takes control of that will probably go on and win this one yeah definitely I think you've got to complete the sets a little bit better you know, I think whoever, whoever controls the game and, and kicks the ball well or turns the ball over and, and, and are disciplined will win the game there's nothing in this game you also just squeezed ahead now a little bit further and, and they've got the strike with the strong runners through the middle that play off the rooks they're not the fancy football team that play off the halves they're very very rook orientated with the middle but it's very effective for them and that's what you get when you play the Yorkshire team they're very very rook orientated they pivot support pretty well but they don't get the hands in, on the ball probably till they're in in your 20 and that's when they become a threat but you know the, the, they've got the basics of Yorkshire football real well which is run hard support the ball with your halves and, and you'll punch holes through but you, you've got to take, take your chance with them single opportunities second goal of the game there for Aaron Brooks and it is Yorkshire who leading this one by 16 points to 6 he holds the clock up so we do have a little bit more time to play must be right on the belt here all Pretty restart Yorkshire three down middle again some tired bodies there for Cumbria in defence yeah, the big boys they're going to win there defensively aren't they they're very narrow Cumbria as well so they'll get plenty of bodies in you know, and they're controlling the rooks, but again, there's some very, very big, strong boys for the, for the Yorkshire side. I think they've carried the ball outstanding. That was Herbie Yard, who's hit just an injury. I think he just twisted his knee there. I think his, his, his leg got caught underneath and he twisted him late on in, in the tackle, so I think he's just twisted his knee, looks in a little bit of pain, and, and he's holding his knee there with the physio straight on and uh, he's dealing with it, but he looks in a, in a little bit of pain. 16 points to six, as I mentioned. Three tries scored. For Yorkshire, one by Cumbria. Cumbria never came via uh, fullback Ethan Bickerdy. Yorkshire scores coming courtesy of Callum Burden, uh, captain Niall Green, and that try just uh, a couple of minutes ago from Pai Fowler. Two goals from the boot of Aaron Brooks. One goal from the boot. He's going to go off this kid. Billy Aviard is uh, from Shaw Cross, which is his turner's team, a former. Uh, manager for, for Barley it's one of his boys so he won't be happy with that and uh, he looks in a bit of a bad way this kid and he thought he's got a real strong game there and he's played really well strong carry defensively contained uh, Evan Jones on, on, this, on this side which is not the easiest thing to do because they're both big boys so there might be a little bit of joy now for Cumbria if they, if, they, if they have a look at this edge yeah Jones will be looking up and thinking hmm, might be something I've, off I've, I've, lo I've lost him now so the next kid that comes in won't be as good as him so I'll chance my arm a little bit I we said this we don't know he could be, he could be a world beater this guy yeah I think, I think they're moving the back row in here who's had a great game anyway so he comes in difficult but again they try to kick on these short edges which is he come off a Cumbria player so but he's good at he's, he's good at uh, half time yeah, he's got the nudge that was the last player field so just uh, sort of nudged it downfield ball beat everybody and that is half time as Paul mentioned 16 points to 6 in favour of Cumbria hope you've enjoyed the coverage so far via our league and uh, 
again, as we, we've sort of been, been saying, it's been tough, there's been no thought of giving or ask for us. No, and that's what you want from these games. Probably, you know, discipline at the, the rucks needs to improve from both sides. It helps you defend a little bit better if you're not real tight at the rucks. You know, over and arms length is principles, split markers, tying with your ears, and there's none of that. So, you know, on the last play where, where Yorkshire scored, you know, the markers are tight, the ears are a little bit wide, the big, nice tight line goes straight through the hole, full-back's a little bit deep, offloads, try, and that's a simple...